If you own the Brewers Advent Calendar and you have this beer behind door number one, this is the right channel. Just stay tuned for a review of this beer. Hi and welcome to another edition of Pro Beer TV following the Brewers Advent Calendar this year. And um, for those of you who haven't seen me uh, the past years here. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm a beer blogger uh, that's originating from Germany, but I now live in Austria. And uh, I do follow the uh, Brewers Event Calendar for some years now. And uh, Peter, the owner of uh, Kalea, who's uh, distributing this uh, calendar, asked me to do some of the videos uh, in uh, English language to just give a little bit of information about the beers that we are drinking uh, this year and this is why I'm here. So um, if you do have a subscription of this channel, you're more than welcome. If you don't, uh, you're more than welcome to add your subscription uh, right below the video. So welcome and uh, this is the first video that we have uh, today, or the first beer of course. It's uh, the Grandler Hell. And um, yeah, first of all, we have to answer the question, um, what is a Grandler? Or what is Grantler? And uh, you see a more or less perfect picture of a Grantler right on this can. Um, it's mostly an elderly guy that's a little bit grumpy and um, he walks around town and everything uh, that happens he has some negative opinion on this. Always grumpy and um, he's, he's, normally he's a nice guy but um, you never get a really positive uh, word from him. And this is a typical uh, term that we use uh, in parts of Austria and of course in Bavaria. And you see this guy is dressed a little bit in traditional clothes wearing this typical Bavarian hat. And this brewery, uh, Schlossbrauerei Herrn Giersdorf, um, is originating from Bavaria. It actually was the oldest privately owned brewery uh, until 20, uh, 2013. Um, the brewery itself was founded in 1131, so quite a long time ago. And in uh, 2013, um, the owning family, family Pausinger, who took over the brewery uh, in the year 1899. And ever since then, um, the family Pausinger is owning uh, the brewery. They transferred uh, brewing to another brewery for economic reasons, uh, because the old brewery uh, has become old fashioned, uh, needs to be modernized. And uh, the brewery name s still is existing, but uh, the brewing is done uh, in a contract brewery. And this beer here now, um, we have behind uh, door number one. Um, Herr Giersdorf uh, and the brewing process happens not far away from the, the old place, um, is located in Bavaria. And if you take a Bavarian map um, and draw a straight line between Ingolstadt and Deggendorf uh, horizontally and vertically between Regensburg and Landshut, I don't know if you know these places at all, but um, where those lines cross, more or less there is uh, Herrn Gisdorf. It's a little bit on the countryside and uh, of course an old traditional brewery. And uh, this beer uh, is their best-selling beer and you have it this year in the Brewers Advent Calendar. Um, since uh, 1995, Paul VI uh, is uh, running the business and uh, you'll see him later on uh, in the Kalea live stream. I bet he will be there uh, answering your questions if any of those arise uh, whilst uh, tasting this beer. Paul will be more than happy to answer your questions. So let's have a look at the technical data. It's 5.2% um, uh, ABV. Um, we have a brewery that's located in Bavaria, so the purity law strikes in, so nothing to discuss about the ingredients. And yeah, I think this is more or less that we can get from the can. So, um, let's open it and pour it into a glass. And I don't know what happens when you open the can, but I got a really, really intense smell already here in my studio. But first take a look at this beautiful beer. It's a really nice white foam on top. It's around one and a half fingers, but really, really snow white. And below there is a uh, more or less clear golden color beer. Not too much carbonation visible 
in the glass. But yeah, this is just how a proper Helles should look like. Let's check the aroma. Yeah, this is what, what I already get from uh, opening the can. It's uh, a hoppy nose, grassy, hoppy aroma. And on the other side, a malty, bready aroma coming from the malt. Not too complicated, not too complex, but really straightforward. Oh, I really like that one. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, this is just how a Helles should be. Again, not too complex, but still it's um, grain forward. There's grain in there, pale malt. A little bit of breadiness, but more or less white bread. Not too sweet at all. Um, very, very balanced, mild bitterness, um, grassy hops. A little bit of spiciness in there. It's a really nice beer. It's not too complex. It's a beer that you can drink when returning from, from work. Um, if you want to make the day a day, uh, just have a third thirst quenching beer um, and I don't know I get a little citrusy in the back but anyway it's a very very nice balanced easy drinking Helles um, and you will find many many good breweries in Bavaria small ones on the countryside then their signature beer will definitely be a Helles where they put all the effort in to make a very good selling and very good drinkable beer uh, for the people around. And uh, this is why Helles is so popular at the moment um, all over Europe, but especially for, for many, many years uh, in Bavaria, in Austria, um, all those uh, countries that you will see people dressed like this guy. The body is not not too, too, too heavy, it's um, a light to medium uh, sized body of this beer. It's a rather softer carbonation, which makes this beer even more drinkable. Um, and the, the, the texture and the palate, it's getting a little bit watery. Um, but this is what, what happens uh, to some of the, the Helles beers, um, because they're really, really designed to be super, super drinkable, super, super enjoyable and um, not blowing up your tummy and uh, letting you fly around <laughs> like a balloon. Um, they want you to have three or four uh, of those uh, beers one night, at least maybe six or seven. Um, and people like this guy, they do drink a six or seven of this beer and then they get uh, talking naughty about everything. Yeah, and this beer finished a little bit um, strawy, uh, a little bit lighter, uh, still like uh, lingering bitterness uh, in this beer. Um, and the carbonation still is uh, on the soft side, so uh, nothing really changes in the aftertaste. If you would have to rate this beer, and look at the guy, I hope he will be happy, happy with my rating. I will give it a 3.5 out of five for the Grantler Hells, or 3.5 points out of five for the Grantler Hells of Schloss Brauerei Herrn Giersdorf. And uh, I hope you enjoy this beer and uh, maybe see you uh, next time for another beer from the Brewers Advent Calendar. Don't miss out the live session we'll have tonight uh, with Paul. I will definitely tune in and check what he has to say about this beer. I hope any, any information I gave you about this beer was right. And I would be more than happy if you would subscribe and see you um, during the next uh, days for this brewing advent calendar. So my name is Martin and I hope you have a good night. Um, see you maybe later. Cheers.